Everybody who's a hater, I would sure like to thank them. I'm Mr. Krabs, you're looking more at Clankton. Now let's see what Cosmo and Juan to do. Obtuse, rubber goose, green goose, grab juice. Powerpuff girls taught me how to be the nicest. By making sure I don't forget the sugar and the spices. I Okay, you beautiful passengers, so welcome to the back of the semi once again, and tonight we are obviously, as you can tell by the title, about to watch Volume 2, Chapter 4 of Ruby, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm in a fairly decent mood. I got stopped early driving for tonight, and I got the truck parked in a kind of quiet location. I got some cars, you know, passing me by here and there. But, you know, it is what it is outside. I'm not going to let that disturb me from what I'm doing inside the semi-truck here. So, yeah. Um, tonight, y'all actually caught me in a pink shirt. Don't know if y'all could tell with that bright, bright, bright light way up there. But, you know, hey, if I didn't have that bright light, it'd be almost completely dark in here. So, it is what it is, right? Right. So, yes, we are in the back of a semi-truck. So, we got limited options, you know. So, it is what it is. But... Fair warning, not 100% blind. I do got a thumbnail here. And that thumbnail is, I've got Penny to the right. And she's standing nervously there. I've got the guy, I'm presuming he's the guy from chapter 3. He was the hologram, I'm presuming. And then I got two new people all the way to the left. A guy and a girl. Um, I'm presuming they're probably from another school, another city, another something. I'm not 100% sure. But, there is one way to find out, and that's for me to push this play button and quit running my mouth. Um, but one more thing <laughs> before I start. And that one more thing is, I'm going to try, you know, for the next few videos to pay a little more attention to the intro. Because I have had that request, hey, you know, pay, you know, please pay attention to the intro a little bit more. Because I do have a tendency of taking intros and just using them as a way of running my mouth and talking about various things. So, this time around, and, you know, a couple more times throughout the rest of this volume, I'm going to go ahead, try to pay attention to the intro a little bit more, mainly for, like, animation and who's in it and stuff like that. Not really the song, per se. Granted, yes, I have had some people saying, hey, you know, you know you're going to hear the full version during the soundtrack when you go live with it. So, there's no spoilers there, really. But, you know, hey, I like to try to do things blind the first time around so yeah um right ear left ear time for me to shut up three two one and play there it goes okay so is this I'm, here's something i'm wondering what this place is whether or not this is like a coliseum or exactly what this is because it looks like it's also well she did say bridge is burning. See, one thing I do know is they spend a lot of... Okay, I'm noticing a couple different people there. They spend a lot of money probably on the intro because intros are used more, you know, over and over and over again. So... You know, they're going to spend the most money to make that look the best and most fluid. And I love that transition between the four of them right there. That's pretty awesome. But, you know, here we go. Chapter 4. I can't remember the title. And we are starting directly off where we left off. Most girls are born, but I was made. You were made? Okay. I'm the world's first synthetic person capable of generating an aura. Really? I'm not real. You seem real to me. Hey, you see, just that's why I like you, Ruby. <laughs> hey, and look, no soda. It's water tonight. I'm sure you would just love him. Wow. He built you all by himself? Well, almost. He had some help from Mr. Ironwood. Oh, really? Okay. Wait. Is 
that why those soldiers were after you? They like to protect me too. They don't think you can protect yourself. <laughs> They're not sure if I'm ready. Yet. Oh, I think you're ready to protect yourself. It will be my job to save the world. But I still have a lot left to learn. Really? That's why my father let me come to the It's also one day going to be your turn to save the world? The world and test myself in the tournament. Hmm. Honey, what are you talking about? Save the world from what? We're in a time of peace. Mm. That's not what Mr. Ironwood said. <laughs> you have to yeah, Ironwood and Osben know quite a bit about the peace okay. that they're supposedly in. I just don't want you to get in trouble. Just promise me you won't tell anyone about my secret. Okay? I promise. Hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you shouldn't cause <laughs> hiccups. You That's her tail. Just a <laughs> Penny, okay, so happy about this. Please, <laughs> just come with us. when she lies, she hiccups. I was literally about to say, oh, okay, so she's a robot, synthetic, whatever you want to call her, that can lie. But then she hiccuped, and I was like, oh, okay. What you doing, Yang? Uh oh, I hear that beat. Come on, my friend's right in here. Hey, Neptune. And where exactly is here? Haha. <laughs> hey, you again. I wonder if we're gonna reuse that animation from the trailer for her. There we go. I <laughs> guess who's back? Are we gonna do this again, y'all? <laughs> uh, I was kind of wondering about that skipping too until the bear kind of reached up there. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever really Neptune you just kind of hit on everybody don't you uh, this is it what you got going on Blake you know I'm just gonna take your word for it new recruit keep to the right I don't get it if you believe what you're doing is right, why hide who you are? The masks are a symbol. Humanity wanted to make monsters out of us, so we chose to don the faces of monsters. Grim masks? That's kind of dark. So was the guy who Yeah, it is. <laughs> Always sunshine and rainbows with you. <laughs> okay, so what have we got going on here? Got a lot of folks with some grim mask. Thank you all for coming. For those of you who are joining us for the first time tonight, allow me to introduce a very special comrade of ours. Hmm. I can assure you, he is the key to obtaining what we have fought for for so long. Are you Roman? Thank you. Thank you. Please. You know, for some reason, I don't like that they changed the color from white to red. But whatever. Are the worst. Case in point. Understand why you would love to see Case in point himself. Better yet, So is he going somewhere with this? I'd like to mention the fact that you and I all have a common enemy. The ones in control. The people pulling the strings. Yeah. The dirty, rotten humans that run our kingdoms. Government, military, even the schools. They're all to blame for your lot in life. And 
They're all pests that need to be dealt with. Fortunately, hmm. I'm the best exterminator around. No offense to any rodents in the room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. Yeah, even got your logo on it, y'all. Oh, that's a big robot. How did he get that? As some of you may have heard, this gee, right here, I wonder how he got it. The newest line of defense against all the scary <laughs> things in the world. And thanks to my employer, we've managed to snag a few before they uh, hit the shelves. Hmm. Now, many of your brothers have already moved down to our new operation in the southeast. If you'd rather stay within the city. That's fine, but if you're truly ready to fight for what you believe in, this is the arsenal I can provide you. Any questions? Yeah. We should get out of here. All of a sudden, y'all like the human, huh? I haven't talked to him. I haven't even seen him since the night you first came in here. He paid up front, I lent him my men, and none of them ever came back. So where did they go? What kind of stupid question is that? They never came back. Who is this? He's guy? got a point. Don't worry about him. <laughs> worry about me if I don't find out what I want. I already told you everything. Torchwood hired my boys, and I guess he wasn't happy with them. Which is something I can relate to. Come on, Neptune. We get everything we need? Well, we got everything we can. Hopefully the rest of the team is having better luck. Okay, so we're flipping back and forth between Yang and what are we gonna do? Blake. I'm thinking. He sees us. He can't see in the dark. Don't let him get away! Gun, the window. Stop him. That whole seeing in the dark thing came back to play. Roman can't see in the dark. Oh crap! <laughs> but Faunus can. Hey, Weiss, there you are. Figures. Old Ruby is just ready to go. Where are you guys? There they are. I think that was them. Yeah, I got it. Hang on, Neptune. You know, I might just call, start calling you Nap. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Right. You gotta slow it down. Got it. Well, she did tell you to hold on. Pretty good animation right there. I like this car chase sequence. Okay, so I get to see some of old Neptune here and his fighting style. Oh! I'm liking Sun and his little deal here. Okay. What you gonna do, Ruby? Oh, never mind. I don't even have to ask what you gonna do. You got your team with you now. Huh. 
So you found four girls who know what they're doing, huh? Well, they're still learning to work together, but you know, y'all you know what I mean. Okay. I was about to ask if y'all are even doing anything to it, but y'all are doing a little bit of damage to it, I think. Just say ladybug. There you go. You're finally getting somewhere with this flipping thing. Yeah, there's our brute strength right there. Oh. <laughs> That's what makes her special, huh? <laughs> I don't think you're fixing that arm. I think you just been knocked out. Just got this thing clean. <laughs> Ladies, <sighs> Ice Queen, hey. always a pleasure. Neo, if you would. Neo. I thought. Yeah, I guess she really made our plans <sighs> fall apart. <laughs> okay. No, just hey, no. I liked it. Hey, you do it. Uh, <laughs> a time and a place for jokes. Um, was I thought I, I, I'll say that for no, in a minute. It wasn't very good. Well, at least I'm trying. Wait, where are Sun and Neptune? Yeah, where are they? Probably fine, right? A simple walk, Noodle Probably. House. Wait, so you do this too, dude? So he's got a dust shop and he's got a walk. Well, either way. Um, so. Neo? <laughs> I think he called her. Um, she's got an interesting style about her. He's got, yeah, she's got an interesting style. Now, I saw, I thought I saw somebody standing next to Roman as, you know, he was doing his little speech and all that stuff. I thought I saw somebody standing next to him, but I didn't want to get too presumptuous and say, hey, who's that? And then, lo and behold, we have this person show up, and, um, I could have swore he said something about ice cream in my head, and he also said, go ahead, Neo, and... I have no idea what kind of name that could mean. Now in the live stream, <laughs> now in the live stream of the soundtrack to Volume One, and that's how I plan on doing the volume, you know, the soundtracks and stuff like that. I, you know, I'm gonna just go ahead and live stream them, but that's how I plan on reacting to them is do it with y'all through. Y'all know what I'm saying. But there was a lot of comments talking about Neapolitan and stuff like that. So, I am presuming and taking a wild guess that those little comments about Neapolitan and stuff like that had a lot to do with whoever this is. 
Now, I don't know exactly what she did, but it seems to me that she made kind of a mirror image of them as they were getting away, and yeah, I, I don't... I, on the second viewing of it, I'm definitely going to have to check out that scene a little bit more. That is for darn sure. But the, you know, I, something interesting about her. That's for darn sure. I like what I'm seeing so far. I like her style. I don't know. It's a unique style for her. She, Her hair is what gets me. I don't know what the flip's going on. It, Whatever it is about her, it, it feels like an optical illusion is what it feels like is happening with me right now. Is Her hair just kind of makes you go, wait, what the heck is going on here? But, you know, hey, whatever. I don't know. We'll, obviously, we'll probably see more of her later because, you know, from what I can tell through comments and stuff like that, Roman is definitely throughout the whole series, and he's, you know... Obviously, this is one of his henchmen, so she's going to be around for a little while. So, that's cool. Cool. Cool beans. Um, other than that, though, let's see. Really, really, really fast. Um, Penny, I can definitely tell that <laughs> she is, you know, she she's starting to feel more like a Pinocchio type. Because when I was about to say something, I was literally about to say it out loud that she's not real. But she can still lie. So obviously she's got some semblance of humanistic tendencies about her. Not a semblance, but you know what I mean. She's got some similar tendencies of a human about her because she can lie. And then she hiccuped when she was lying. So I was like, oh, okay. So that's your little tail instead of your nose growing like Pinocchio. You hiccup. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so that's cool. I like Penny. Penny's awesome, in my opinion. I don't know what it is about her, but she's just plain flipping adorably awesome. So, I'm going to definitely like stuff that deal with her. I like Ruby. She's so flipping accepting. Accepting? No. Accept. I can't get words out of my mouth. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Ruby, she's so accepting that, you know, she's just like, hey, whatever, you're real to me. Um... <laughs> And then Weiss, of course, she's a really precision-tuned and does things. She seems to lear be learning. All of a sudden, she's seeing how everybody else works, and she seemed to have adapted to it. So she doesn't seem to have too much trouble anymore with doing whatever she does with her fighting style. Now, it's interesting is Yang. Yang gets stronger with every hit she takes, as if she's kind of like a, a little miniature Hulk. And that's awesome. <laughs> I like that, and of course, Blake, you know, it came back, you know, well, he can't see in the dark, and she shot the control panel to the electricity, and they booked it on out of there, and yeah, um, wow, I said a lot in a really short amount of time, so yeah, the whole Faunus being able to see in the dark thing, that came back, so that was cool, I like that, and now, I don't like the fact that the White Fang changed their color to red, and they still call themselves White Fang. In my opinion, they should have changed their name with the color change and just called themselves the Red Fang. That would have been pretty cool, in my opinion, but hey, it is what it is. I'm done running my mouth. I feel like I'm speaking a mile a minute right now, so I'm just going to go ahead, jump off of here, and just chill out. Well, I'm not going to chill out. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go, you know, get a walk in and stuff like that because, you know... I am trying to lose a little weight. I don't know how many times I've said that in the past, but I am trying. So, yeah, it's y'all's turn. Y'all know what to do. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says, And I like you as you are. I do.